All right, out of the Ohio Valley, Louisville will face the 15th seed Gamecocks of Jacksonville State. Coach Ray Harper in his first year takes the Gamecocks to their first ever NCAA tournament appearance. And Jacksonville State looking forward to Rick Pitino and the Louisville Cardinals. Be a lot of red in that game. Yeah, Bill. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of points in that game. First one to 90 wins that one. Going up the ladder in the Midwest region. The Louisville and taking these guys to the tournament. Now you know what you're at. What are your next steps? Uh, well, we've got about four days to prepare and try to get ready for uh, an unbelievably good basketball team and one of the best basketball coaches in the country in Rick Pitino. What was it like sitting there just kind of walk us through your emotion? Well, we knew our name was going to be called. We just didn't know where we were going, when we were going to be playing, and uh, I'm happy it came early so we didn't have to sit there and, and wonder where we were going. But again, excited for these young men that they're, they have the opportunity to uh, continue playing. Pressure. Uh, you know, they're, they're, they're one of the really, really great pressure defensive teams in the country, and then they rebound the basketball to high levels. So, you know, we're going to have to be uh, we're going to have to be locked in. We're going to have to do some things to to not turn the basketball over because they live off of turnovers. Well, we just talked about it a little bit. I mean, as a staff, uh, every member of the staff's been a part of the NCAA tournament, so we know what the experience is going to be like, some of the distractions, and we just got to stay focused on what's uh, what's important. What you tell your guys in the locker room? They hope they enjoy this, that they you know, take a minute to to really enjoy the, the moment and, and their accomplishment, but when they get here tomorrow at 1 o'clock, it's time to focus in on getting ready for Louisville. The walk is when you found out it was well, you know, it's just exciting just being here, having all the fans here. It's a wonderful feeling, and we're ready to play anybody, really. I saw y'all getting a little anxious, you know, every time a one or two, three line came around, the Duke one, y'all mm -hmm. were kind of jumping around, and yeah. especially Louisville, I saw a couple of guys tapping their shoes. I mean, what, oh, yeah. knowing that you're going to be one of those severe underdogs, what's going through your mind at this point, and, you know, what are you looking for, I guess, in that matchup? Well, you know, we're just, we're just ready to play anybody, and... It's just an exciting feeling, you know. I really am speechless still this day, but, you know, we're going to have to get after it in practice and get ready to play a big team, a good team. How do you guys stay grounded? I mean, this is unfamiliar territory for you guys, first time ever. Uh, I mean, what do you tell your teammates? What do you tell yourself? Oh, you know, Coach Harper, he's been doing this, getting wins, and, you know, he's telling us how to, how to deal with it, and we're just going through the process with him. How does it help having a coach that's – not only been there once, but has actually done this process a couple times, and an entire staff at that. Oh, yeah, it's nice, you know. He he knows the ins and outs, and he's showing it to us. So, I mean, how can we not be ready, you know? Had a chance to watch Louisville much this year? A little bit, yeah. It's a lot of pressure, you know, but we'll just have to stay under control. Just walk us through your emotion as uh, you guys were sitting there waiting for We finally get cold. It was just, it's just been a long week. Uh, now we finally know what we're going to play. We just got to get our game plan set up. Coach just said that you're going to work on it now. So getting back in the gym tomorrow, tonight, and just start getting start getting ready for the game on uh, on Friday. How anxious are you when you I, you know you're gonna your name's gonna show up? But <laughs> how anxious are you still for that for wondering what that matchup is going to be? I mean, my hand's still shaking, so I don't know how, how I know how to describe it. It's, it's a great feeling to know that you're going to the big dance and. Uh, it's even greater feeling that you're doing the first time in school history, so we're just going, we're just going to have to go there and just play a whole game. Louisville, a lot of pressure on you guys. Just what do you guys have to do? Focus in on this week of practice before the game to overcome that third pressure. Uh, just like I said, we just got to stick to our game plans, uh, trust our, our coaching staff because they know what to do. They've been there, so they have experience for that, and we just got to, we just got to trust them. He said he he just said we, he's proud of the, uh, of our job that we've done so far, and we're not done yet. We just got to get back in the gym and get ready for uh, for Louisville on Friday. Just um, walk us through your emotion as you guys are sitting there waiting for your name to be called. Uh, we were just waiting, sitting there waiting. You know, everyone's excited. It's a great time to be a game cop. And once we just heard that I, who we were going to be playing, it was just ecstatic in here. You could feel the energy in the arena. Everybody was jumping up and down. It was just a great feeling. 
Y'all seemed anxious over there, just just waiting. Like every time that one, two, three line came up, I mean, y'all were y'all were ready. I mean, what's what's that feeling like, just knowing your name's going to be called, but you don't know who you're going to play? It's, it's, it's kind of this is a crazy feeling because we were we were exactly like that. We were nervous. We was anxious. We were just ready to see who we were going to play. You know, just anxious. Being able to do this for the first time in school history, I mean, what's it mean to be a part of this team and to, to go on this journey? Um, it really just it just shows how much that hard work really does pay off. You know, we we all came together, we we stuck together through the thick and thin, and we just believe. Challenges that Louisville presents to you guys. Um, I mean, as far as I know. I know definitely that they're a pressing team and they're going to try and pressure the basketball. They're going to attack the offensive glass and offensive and defensive glass, and they got a great coach. So we just got to stick to our game plan that our coach is going to put in for us, and I believe we'll be right there with a chance to win. What do you think that would mean for you guys to not move uh, I think it would be life-changing for a lot of us. And for, best, definitely for the program, it would be a, a program-changing win, definitely. Mm -hmm. Um, we just we just stick it to the script, you know. We're not really trying to get caught up in the hype, you know. We never really had too much hype on us. We've always been an underdog. I think we really embraced that role throughout the whole season. So we really just trying to stay grounded, you know. Nobody's picking us to win. We're just gonna stick together and just stay with who always been believing with us since the beginning. You say, uh, do you feel like being the underdog gives you guys a chip on your shoulder heading into? Oh yeah, definitely, definitely. That's something that helped. I believe helped us the whole season is using the whole under underdog role, definitely. All right.